up, Otaku Nation? Oda King Live coming at you again for another Top 10 Anime of the Week episode. And this episode is going to be kind of like the kind of like the other one of the fan service, but it's going to be the fan service show you thought you were going to get more than you did. So, you know, pretty much you thought it was going to be really fan servicey and it actually was pretty tame. Um my master and lord uh giant pikachu behind me not sure if you can see him he uh he demands more more uh more you know hentai action quality and so i'm here to deliver so number one we're gonna jump right in with tenjo tenge this is actually a pretty good battle anime i really enjoyed it um but pretty much you know you think you're gonna get all kinds of juicy fan service and action in this because i mean even just Going off the cover, you got two uh, barely clothed ladies on it. But um, outside of the occasional, you know, dressing or shower scene, there really isn't much to it. Um, it sticks primarily to the action, primarily to the battles, and um, it does it well. It's, it was a seven-disc set released by Jenny on uh, back in the day, and uh, I really enjoyed this anime and got the manga too laying around here. So um, I recommend it for the action and the battles. Don't go there expecting nothing but fan service. Next, Ikitosin. This is one of the big battle anime of the time, which, you know, battle anime where girls' clothes fly off. Uh, this was one of those shows that was kind of infamous for, you know, girls fighting and their clothes just getting blown off and torn off and everything else. But again, while fan service it never really got hardcore. It never, you know, it never was as most as I thought it was going to be. And uh, the anime itself kind of left me wanting more. So it was mostly just panty shots, things like that. And even the battles and stuff started to, I don't know. I ended up being rather disappointed in this. However, I've not seen the other seasons yet. So I believe if I watch the rest, it might uh, bring it all together. This was the original release by Jenny on. And then I believe season two and three were released later by, I believe, Funimation. I could be wrong. Uh, don't own them yet. And uh, anyways, uh, let's go to next. This one I remember being a real disappointment. Popotan, uh, it says right on the back, excessive nudity. I don't remember much of that. And uh, the show itself, I remember being quite weak. Uh, it was a three-disc set, another Genion release. I mean, you got your typical four girls and, you know, their sisters, I believe. Uh, lolly and all. And um, it was really tame. Um, I think the, you know, the excessive nudity was pretty much contained to bath scenes and things like that. And... Um, I was just kind of like, eh, the show itself. Next up is Deers. This is another master slave type uh, anime. And um, it does get pretty hardcore. Um, again, not a lot. It's mostly, again, you know, to the, to the bath scenes, things like that. It ended up being kind of kind of a lot tamer as it went on. And um, ended up just kind of being a pretty good story. So while I enjoyed you know, I enjoyed the story of the whole thing and uh, the whole, you know, master-slave relationship and everything. It really, you really thought you were going to get more going into this than you did. Next up is Please Teacher. Now this is, this sounds like a hentai already. Please Teacher with your, uh, you know, seductive looking teacher right here on the cover. Uh, now this show can get a little hardcore because it, you know, it does go to where marriage and uh, sex and everything. But, um... It's certainly not, you know, <laughs> hentai as it sounds. It's more of a romance anime, and it's actually quite good. Uh, even spun a second season and everything. So uh, I recommend this one. Check this one out. Next up, Steel Angel Kurumi. Okay, this one is, again, naked girl right on the cover. You think you're going to do pretty good. Uh, this is actually a pretty good battle anime, and, and, and a slight harem anime on top of that. Pretty much, uh, you got your... You know, you're robot girls, and, uh, you know, outside of just getting naked to, you know, shower or change, that's pretty much as far as the fan service in this one really goes. And, um, however, a lot of the battle scenes are pretty good, and uh, I used to like this show a lot. I certainly recommend it. Be, watch the uh, watch out for the manga, though. It's a little bit different. Moving on. Mahoromatic. This is one of my old-school kind of fave uh, shows. It's not really a harem. It's not really, uh, you know, it's kind of a bit of, bit of harem, bit of comedy, bit of, bit of fan service, bit of everything. 
but you think it's going to be a little more fan servicey than you you're you're getting into because pretty much his teacher uh wants him and she's like some you know double f you know ready to go dog and heat kind of action and uh she's always trying to get him naked and uh you know you got your mohoro but she's uh she's a prude she she thinks nudity and everything is bad bad thoughts are bad and uh so well there is certainly a lot of nudity again it's mostly shower scenes bath scenes things like that and when you look at the covers you look at the back and just the show as a whole you think it's going to be a lot more with all the maids and everything else but um show itself is pretty good just you know enjoy the the slight fan service and don't expect too much more next up is a, a bit of a strange one hen yukio maid team uh this is a strange release because this is like i don't know this is like a tamer version of uh hen yukio maids uh released by jenny on it was like a i believe a three or four disc set there is another series of this another ova that i have that i got you know, from God knows where off eBay, it was like a type of Hong Kong release where it is a lot more hardcore. Uh, pretty much there's, there's him and there's these three maids that want to, you know, serve him to where, you know, I don't know, anything like they just try and jump in his bed every night, all three of them naked in the other release, they're always naked and trying to hump this guy. And this one, it's a lot more tamer. You know, you get your minor panty scenes, things like that. But if you saw the other version of this and then came into this one, you're going to be disappointed because it is, this is like the G-rated version and the other one's like the borderline hentai version. So this one was a real, kind of a real disappointment to me because I thought it was going to be a more like the other. Next up is a kind of a two for one dealie here. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Mabarajo. This is one of those shows where the dude has some sort of magical master genes in them so pretty much there's like these three or four girls that pretty much just want to hump them to you know get impregnated by him so they can give birth to the next you know major you know magical master dude and uh again it ends up being a lot tamer than what it sounds like you you know when you hear that you think it's going to be whoo boy but uh no it's actually pretty tame uh, certainly, you know, the one girls, the two, one or two girls are trying to always get in bed with them. But for the most part, their clothes are always on. I mean, it might be, you know, panties, bras, things like that. The occasional bath scene. But it's uh, it's pretty tame and it's usually just results to the girls blowing each other away with magic. And that's about as far as that goes. Next one is something very similar. Magicano. Very similar to Mabarajo. Even the names are similar. Um, again, this is a little bit different. It's a it's a guy who, again with you know three sisters that are magical powers, but they don't want him to know for whatever reason. I can't remember. And an outside girl again, he has like this magical strength in him. And again, a girl on the outside finds out, wants to hump his brains out to get impregnated by him. And uh, the three sisters try to you know fight her off, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Again, you think it's going to be a lot better than it is but it isn't so again this one was uh, a little on the disappointing side um an 80 vision release this time it was like a three disc set it's not a terrible show i did enjoy watching it but uh you know just was a little disappointed because uh just wasn't as hard as i thought it was going to be you know what i'm saying anyways uh that's it for the top 10 you know, suspiciously disappointing fan service shows uh Leave a like if you agreed with any of these. Leave a comment if you have any others that are like that. And uh, I'll see you yeah! next time.